Rich Your Diaries uh, was like a natural progression for me in terms of drama. I had done three or four fairly successful or very successful films, Nine and a Half Weeks and Two Junction, Wild Orchid, One and Two. And it occurred to me, like, uh, after making these films, which were relationship films and really... Uh, really delved into se sexual awakenings and the romance really, really kind of seriously. Uh, uh, that I was like halfway across uh, the river. In other words, people thought of me as an erotic filmmaker. And there was, didn't seem to be much I could do to persuade them otherwise. Uh, so I had a choice of uh, swimming back to their side, which was impossible, drowning or going to the other side. And I decided to go to the other side and came up with the idea of doing Retro Diaries, which would be a TV series. And what I learned about the films that I did is sort of what men did not know about women, that they were sometimes even madly in love with. And that's what I did when I did Retro Diaries. Uh, the pilot of Retro Diaries, basically, was about a young man, David Duchovny, who was madly in love with a young woman who was played by Richard Baco and was about to get married to her and what he didn't understand is that the woman he was about to marry had apprehensions and that she had had a pattern in her life where she would take really amazing things that happened to him to her and like turn him and 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 turn him around so she turned her life to shit and uh, he didn't know that this was a pattern and in the midst of the greatest thing that's ever happened to her she has an affair with Billy Worth. And she suffers so much guilt and so much self-loathing because of it. She doesn't tell David's character that she ends up basically going in a deep depression and she kills herself at the end of the second act. David discovers her dead in the bathtub, which is an amazing, amazing moment in anybody's life to find someone she loved having committed suicide, especially somebody that you're about to marry. Broken heart is devastating. Several days later, he finds her diary, which describes her relationship with the shoe salesman with Billy Worth. And David comes to the realization that he doesn't know that he was about to marry this woman and knew basically nothing emotionally about her. So what David does is at the end of Red Shoe Diaries, he decides that he needs, he needs help in a sense to begin to understand women. He puts an ad in the newspaper which says, women, uh, do you keep a diary? A uh, man who's essentially broken hearted and devastated is looking for clues send them to me. And that becomes a premise of Red Shoe Diaries. People send David Duchovny, women send David Duchovny uh, their diaries, and they became the st become the stories about how they've fallen in love, fallen out of love, whatever the complications were. Always told from a woman's point of view, and David was the host, and that became a Red Shoe Diaries. We did the pilot, and then we did 66 episodes, and it was Showtime's, or is Showtime's most, uh, most successful show. Um, that's what Retro Diaries is, and uh, some amazing actors have been on it, including David Duchovny and Matt LeBlanc and uh, fantastic uh, um, Ali Sheedy, and the list goes on and on. You know, some people that you recognize from the fashion world because they're really famous models, and some kids have gone on to have fantastic careers as movie stars and television stars.